if uh, he, he, yeah, if he, um, I mean, something that we were doing while uh, he was doing to me while we were playing friendlies is when I went off stage to try and nair him to just, you know, run off nair uh, when I think he was going to go low, he hit me with cross slash. Yep. Um, I don't know if cross slash reaches that range of Bowser's fair, um, but it will definitely cause some problems for Matt if he's not careful about it. Another thing that Epo is very good at is um, using his directional air dodge to work around uh, people trying to give him. Which is yeah, Epo has a really good recovery. Play a character like Cloud. Yeah. Sorry, I'm pointing. I'm doing my finger guns at uh, Shaggy over there. Our to. Anyway, so we're getting into things. Epo versus Paper Matt. Starting off on PS2. All right, starting things off, uh, Paper Matt's going to try and take center stage. Both of them just trying to work around each other. Epo's going to start things off with that cross slash, getting the first damage. That cross slash does such an amazing amount of damage in just one hit. Oh my god, yeah. Two moves. Uh, <laughs> you need to know four moves to play uh, Cloud. Up B, cross slash, fair, and bear. <laughs> but it looks like Paper Matt's making this back. Oh yeah, definitely. One big fire breath and a whole bunch of up out of shield to All right, cover that, his options. Yeah, that... um. The fire breath delayed his upbeat, but it didn't. It didn't uh, hit him. You know, uh, I I don't know if that has to do with limit having some sort of invulnerability or just upbeat in general has that. So yeah, he tries to go for that fair there. Epo doing a great job recovering high. Um, yeah, Epo using that cross slash, starting to build up that damage. That dare and though. That takes the first mm -hmm. stock with a very smart down air. All right, Epo with the upbeat. He's going to start building up that damage that he needs to get on uh, Matt. Both of these characters have very good up these out of shield as defensive options, and it's really coming into play here. Mm, a lot of characters have trouble punishing Cloud's aerials on shield, but Bowser's one of the few that can do that pretty easily. Oh, yeah, as you definitely. Just saw right yeah. There. Busted up the out of shield. Oh, but he tries to but go Evo for it there. He yep. stuffs the up the out of shield that we were talking about with the intangibility on his cross slash. Well, yeah, he was baiting it out. He was doing empty hop because he knew he had limit there, and he thought, you know, Matt's probably going to go for this uh, up the here. He's been pretty. Uh, He's been using it pretty heavily. Uh, so he's evening things out stock-wise, and he's got and Paper Matt off stage getting that edge low guard. recovery gets that, that yeah. down there to take the stock. And now he's starting to uh, build up this lead a bit more after being down that first stock. Oh, Matt going for that down smash. Not going to work out. Epo going to try and build up this damage more. The back air, though, that's going to take it. And Matt, not really much percent on him for a character as heavy as Bowser, but Epo has been like getting it, those but this stocks early. Hit. Yeah. Epo though has limit, and uh, back air is super powerful kill move as well. Mm -hmm. All right, that up is gonna help Matt get out of that situation, uses the armor to get through there. It looks like Epo's starting to panic a little bit with that air dodge. Mm, definitely, this is a last stock scenario. He can't really afford to lose that. He puts out that limit, not gonna work. Great parry. But gets the F smash. The uppy was not true there, mm -hmm. even with the parry. Uh, so Epo going up game one. See, the thing was there, Epo spaces back air just a little bit better so that even though Matt got the parry, um, the uppy wasn't able to reach in time. Yeah, um, that's that's the thing about uh, Cloud's back air. It's not really punishable on shield. Mm -hmm. um, as a Game & Watch main, Game & Watch having one of the bigger uppies out of shield as well. Uh, is fully spaced back air safe on Game & Watch's shield? It can be, but he needs to space it extremely well. Even yeah. if he spaces it only decently, I can still get the update. Yeah, definitely. If he gets that perfect spacing, though, it's going to uh, lead him to get some punishes on Matt trying to up the uh, hastily. It looks like Matt was doing uh, pretty well in that game one, though. So let's see if he can make any um, adjustments that he can um, potentially take game two and the set. Mm. All right, so we're starting things off. We're going into game two on Battlefield. Matt's counter pick, Epo, with the lead by a game. I think part of the reason why Matt wanted to go Battlefield here is because he wants to use um, the platforms to his advantage so that he can get earlier KOs of side bait. Mm. Yeah, I think that's uh, definitely one case. Something I find trouble with in... Um, the Bowser match. Oh, that forward smash is going to take it. That was a great catch Bowser's on the roll. Bowser's box is so large that even though Matt tried to roll behind him, it still caught him. Mm. Yeah, so Epo taking the lead, looking a lot more confident uh, after winning that game one. Oh, but he's going to go for that second part of Uppy a little just, bit too early. He just barely missed the wedge. Yeah. And just like that, it's an even game. 
All right, Matt is really abusing this up out of shield. He's finally Great gonna get that side B. On the full side B? All right, his shield's a little low. He can't really just sit there and shield and wait for Epo to do something on it. He didn't need shield for that one either. All right, gets the second that's side B. That's what I was B. talking about there. Yeah. If you land on the top platform, that side B is going to kill extremely early. Oh. oh. The limit break not going to kill there. But it was still an amazing punish by Epo. He's doing a pretty uh, decent job at baiting out these uppies, knowing that Matt wants to go for them so often. Mm. Yeah, I think Matt's getting a little bit tunnel visioned as well. As you can see, he went for that back air, but Epo was running right past there, and Epo's catching, you know... And oh my, this, that back here did not kill that ledge. Bowser survived so long. This is the tough part of the matchup, though. Being a character of such a large hurtbox against Cloud at ledge is very scary. Mm. And as you can see there, there wasn't really much that Matt could do to avoid that level cross slash there. All right, this flame uh, flame breath not going to help out with that edge guard. Epo getting back to stage, but the fair going to keep him there again. Epo continuing to realize that Matt's just going to put out that flamethrower. That, fl uh, sorry, flame breath. And uh, he's going to be able to recover high. So now Limit's back on the board, but this Uppy going to push him off stage. He might have to use it. He does, but he builds up the damage, and that was a great uh, recovery from Epo. That side B will kill, though. Bowser, 85%. Matt has the ability to bring this back pretty quickly, get in a few good punishes, especially with side B, and, uh, you know, pushing Epo off stage. And Bowser is the comeback king. Oh, yeah. And it gets really scary, especially when you're put in the air against uh, Bowser. But Limit now, putting Matt in this uh, ledge trap situation. That was a very smart getup attack, though. Yeah. And uh, also a good uh, backdash from Matt to avoid the Limit. Oh, goes for the down smash. That's not going to work out. I don't know what he was necessarily thinking there, but it didn't work. Now he's on the ledge again. Goes for that dare. And the back air finally going to nope, catch him, not killing yet, though. Limit, he's on the ledge. And, yep, he's going to get hit by that Limit Blade Beam, and Ebo going to take it 2-0 over Paper Matt. That was a good showing by Paper Matt, though. He was um, doing a